I get a lot of questions from you guys on how I help speed along the neck carving process in my guitar builds. My rule of thumb usually is if you're a first time guitar builder, you should really stick with some spoke shaves and sandpaper. You get a much better feel for the wood and how the process works. If you just take a router bit to it, you kind of miss some of it. I feel like if you haven't done all the basics and if you haven't carved a bunch of necks by hand, you can't really jump to a router bit. But for years, what I would do is I would start with a three-quarter bit, and I'd run that first. A three-quarter bit allows me to just take enough material consistently along the line, and I can come back with a spoke shave or sandpaper and really feel it out much better. This removes the least amount of material. Now that I've moved along, I've got a couple different bits that I use. This is a Grizzly Tools handrail bit. And you can see this is more C or U-shaped. As I'm playing around with some of the Les Paul styles, you want that thicker neck, 59 profile. These are my 59 profile templates. And this is an inch round over bit. And you can see how perfectly that lines up. You can see on this Grizzly handrail bit, just doesn't look the same. Lots of different ways to do this. I also purchased some inch and a quarter, a little bit bigger, and then this is an inch and a half. And the reason I have a lot of these bits is years ago I helped my father-in-law make some railings for a house. I found this bit, and this really helps significantly, especially when you want sort of that thicker, meatier profile on the sides. So my thought is that this one inch bit is pretty much spot on for a 59 Les Paul neck. And I'm assuming back in the day when Gibson was doing this, they had a one inch bit as well in a shaper machine, ran it off the shaper like this and then did a little bit of carving by hand. So just a couple different bits that I use to help speed along my neck carving process. Like I said, start with a three quarter bit. It removes the least amount of material. It still gives you that feel on how to carve it by hand. A one inch will get you really close. And really when I'm doing this, I only take the bit maybe a half to an inch away from the nut and even to the heel. And then I'll do a lot of the heel and the nut carving by hand to get that, that feel, make sure that I'm really putting the time in to get the right feel. Kevin wants another neck on another body that I'm making in a set of videos. You guys will see that coming up. And we're going to do a 59 profile, so I've got my one inch bit. I had a bunch of other bits in the move, but they disappeared somewhere. I'm not really sure how that happens, but you'll see this video coming up shortly. Careful when using these. These are very, very dangerous at high speeds. For the larger bits, you got to slow it down. Please look at the manual on the different speeds to slow your router down. Don't throw this bit into your router and turn it on at 22,000 RPMs your router is going to shake and vibrate. Read the manual. Usually you slow these down significantly. Keeps it a lot more stable. Same thing with this. So I'll show you this one inch bit in action here. I've got a custom jig I made, which is essentially the neck screwed into a board with a straight edge. And I lined up the edge of that board to the edge of the fretboard. And you don't need to take everything in one pass. I think it's a little bit dangerous to do that. You can either lower the bit slowly and take little bits off here. I'm actually just taking a little bit of time and seeing how it's actually routing and how it looks and feels. So we'll take two light passes and just sort of take the edge off, kind of get a gauge of what the curve feels like. And then we'll come back, turn it on, and push it in a little bit further so that that bearing rubs against the board. And since this neck is screwed down, it's not going to move. So when doing it this way, then you can get the heel a little bit further up. You really don't want to take off too much because when you come back later, it creates a huge problem if you take out too much wood. So I mark my neck where I, I usually take about an inch less than what I've marked. That way I've got enough room. And here again, I've got the board screwed down again. And I'm just going to take a couple light passes. See how it looks and feels. See how the material routes off. Make sure I'm not getting any tear out or too much mess. So here's my one inch bit in action carving Kevin Bond's 
mahogany and African blackwood neck. I'll be posting that video in full shortly, but wanted to get you a couple videos on me working here in process. So thanks for watching guys. We will see you in the next vid.